Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon White 2 Unlock. And yeah, there's no webcam here today. The main reason for that, well there's a few reasons. One is that it's getting dark and I mean I, I've done it in the dark before but I didn't feel like it this time. And also I'm not in any condition to appear on face cam this time around. But also the more important reason is I'm actually doing a test run with my recording audio because if you've been following my Pokemon Yellow Limited Heal run, um, and I mentioned it in the last episode of this too because I had uh, no, um, I, I was using my built-in mic, I couldn't think of the word, and so the quality was really crummy because I thought my original microphone was going bad because it's happened before and I thought, okay, we'll get a new microphone. So I got a nice new microphone and I'm still somewhat, like the, the last time I tried to record my Pokemon Yellow playthrough, um, it's still, I still had the problem a little bit, the little staticky thing that was going on, which you might have heard a little bit in that episode. So I'm trying to figure out because I had recorded, um, Pokemon Y and I recorded another thing that used face cam and I didn't get that problem. So I'm kind of testing this out. This is a little bit of a, a guinea pig thing here, um, without face cam to see if this one still works. So if it's just... Pokemon Yellow that my microphone doesn't like for some reason. I mean, the, the biggest reason probably is I, I use a USB splitter and I need to um, probably need a new computer that's better, better at handling this. But anyway, we're gonna get on with this episode for real now. Okay, so we are gonna try to take on the gym in this episode, maybe. I mean, we have Milwaukee and Seoul. We're gonna see how they do. I think with them we can take it the... Um, what's his name? What is, what is his name, Marlin? Is his name Marlin? I think his name is Marlin, but I could be thinking of Nemo's dad and Finding Nemo, but maybe they're both called Marlin. Anyway, um, his highest level Pokemon, I believe, is level 55, and we don't have a level limit, so technically I could just, you know, grind, but I didn't do any of that in between episodes, and I want to do this episode, so where's... I'm in the wrong... Am I in the wrong? No, I'm looking for the lucky egg. Do I have the lucky egg here somewhere? There it is. Okay, I want to put the lucky egg. We're going to try training against uh, the the gym trainers, and we're going to see how well we do. See how well we fare. And depending on that, we'll decide whether I want to do a little bit more grinding in before we take on the gym leader or not. But we're going to talk to Spock first. We'll get the DNA splicers back for sure. You should focus on defeating the gym leader first. Okay, well, if Spock said so, that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to... Ooh, there's an item back there, but... I'll have to wait until later to go for it. Right now we're gonna get our free fresh water. Wait. Oh wait, no, we have to find him first. Dang it. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have to go out into the... Do we have to go all the way out into route, what is it, 23? I, I don't know, but that means we have an encounter that we could get. Hold on, I wanna go into this. Did we go into the Pokemon Center already? I don't think we did. Well, here we are. We're in the Pokemon Center. Okay, goodbye. All right, we get an encounter on... Well, let, let me check the map, because I might want to save that Terrakion encounter. Let's see. 22, Giant Chasm, and 23. I feel like Terrakion might be on Route 22. I want to reserve the right to try to catch him, so we're just going to put up a repel in the meantime, because we don't really need to... We don't really need any more encounters, to be honest. I don't think, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt, but I kind of want something higher level, so a Terrakion would be nice if we try to catch it, but I don't know yet. So first we're going to go find Marlin, so maybe this episode will be more involved than I thought, and maybe we won't quite get to the gym battle in this episode, we'll have to see. Let's go ahead and surf over here so we can find whatever that item is. Here we go. And it's a Shell Bell. That, we could actually make some decent use of that, I guess. Alright, let's go ahead. Do I want to explore all the places in here? Well, we can we can take a look, at least at a couple of them. Hello, old man. Ah, uh, the weather's great today, too. I wonder how many days have passed since I came here on my vacation. Spending every day in such abundance makes my brain a little mushy. I wonder if there will be an event that will stimulate me a little. Oh, it's okay, it's a fun fest. Was today Sunday? Well, I don't know what this 3DS, what day this 3DS thinks it is, but I'm recording this on a Tuesday. Um, I don't have a Mantine. 
Tan growth would be interesting, though. I mean, I already have a grass type on my team right now. Although Virizion would have been nice against this upcoming gym, but we're just gonna have to to do um to make do with Milwaukee. I think Milwaukee can do a good job. Yes, use another repel, even though we're not really walking on the in the water or on the grass yet. What do you gotta say? Da da da. Train, do your best to become champion. Okay. Sure. That's what I'm planning on doing anyway. So, alright, let's see. We'll go this way. Yeah, I think Marlin is here. No? I think he's here. Isn't he? I don't know, but we're gonna fight this trainer. Because we could use a little bit of extra experience. The audio thing started again. I, I didn't want to jinx myself, but I was about to say that I was getting by with no static. And there it goes. Sometimes goes for no reason at all, it seems like. It's unfortunate. Let's see, we're gonna lead with a faint attack and then go for a horn leech. Oh, confuse Ray. I was gonna say in case it damaged us. Oh yeah, I have, I have to be sure to update Milwaukee's uh, picture. Ah, Milwaukee, because he's autumn form right now. She's autumn form, excuse me. No, I need to go str I should have gone straight for Horn Leech. What was I doing? We did snap out of confusion, which is good. So we just have to not get confused this next turn. That was pretty good, actually. All right, come on, Horn Leech. Turn my monitor up a little bit so I can hear when the staticky things happen. Basically, what I'm trying to do is anytime it gets staticky, to just kind of stop talking for a little bit. So um, if you hear, like, a little bit of static and then I cut out for a little bit. That's just me waiting until I, uh, I don't, until I, the static's gone. No, wait, I, no, I don't really want to learn double edge. I mean, it is stab, but I could always teach it return. I think I have return. That would be better. Um, Drapion. Let's, let's go for Soul, since Soul needs some experience too. I mean, Milwaukee has the lucky egg for now, but Soul could use some experience, and Soul resists both of Drapion's stab. So, I don't know, we could be going on a wild goose chase here, but I'm pretty sure that we find Marlin somewhere on this route. But I, I could be totally wrong on this. We're certainly getting a decent challenge here with these guys. All right, come on, gear grind this thing. Man, he's setting up the toxic spikes. I'll just have to not switch into anybody. All right, hit two times. I, I remember looking up gear grind. I think it always hits only two times. It doesn't say in here though. Wait, did it say two steel gears? Yeah, so that probably means it's always two times. But anyway, we're gonna go for a more accurate attack. Yeah, I miss that steel. I'm kind of sad that steel doesn't resist dark and ghost anymore, but it was for game balancing purposes. I know they had to do it kind of because otherwise with steel being strong against fairy and resisting fairy, steel would have been a little too broken. Steel is still pretty good, although it's weak to some common types. Ground, fire, I don't know how, well, yeah, ground, fire, fighting, all fairly. Ooh, shaking grass, not gonna go in there because I don't want my encounter yet. So I'm gonna try... I'm gonna get by this girl. I thought that item was on this plane. We're gonna... Oh no! Dang it! Well, we encountered an Amoongus. We already caught a Fungus, I think? So this doesn't count as our encounter? I wish I could check the Pokedex from here. Hmm. I know I ran into a Fungus, but it, it wasn't my first encounter, I don't think. So, so much for Trachyon, I guess. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to catch this thing in a quick ball. If, if I don't, if I haven't caught a Fungus before, I will keep this as my encounter. If I can even catch it. Ooh, thank you for that Giga Drain. Um, but if I have, if I have um, caught a Fungus, I'm gonna check my Pokedex after this. If I did catch a Fungus, then I'm going to um, 
release this and not count it as my encounter. Yeah, keep doing that, Amoongus. I'm totally fine with it. Okay, I think think that's enough. And we got paralyzed from it. Great. It's gonna be super effective, isn't it? And do a little bit more than I want it to. You know what, let's be safe, just in case. Let's go ahead and use a lemonade. Just in case, no need for a senseless death, especially if this thing doesn't even really count as an encounter. Um, I have to think of a city if I want to name this thing. I don't know for sure, though, if I might have caught one already. I might have caught a Fungus. I mean, obviously I didn't catch an Amoongus because, well, it doesn't have the little Pokeball symbol, but I might have caught a Fungus. But we do have to nickname him anyway, just in case. I can't remember. I know I've run into Fungus, but I don't think, um... I don't think it was my first encounter anywhere, but I'm gonna check. We'll nickname Amoongus. Um, city in, let's go with Tokyo. Not, well, maybe not Tokyo. Because, um, I just, I just think in somewhere in Japan in general. Let me see, just for, for sake of getting correct spelling, let me look up what we've got here. In cities in Japan. List of cities in Japan. So I can think of a couple of them, but I want to make sure I can spell them correctly. So we've got... Um... Oh, we've got Seto. We could name him Seto Kaiba. But I want it to be... It has to be a name Utoyota. It has to be a name that I wouldn't be too upset with if I have to release him. Um... I wish Shiitake were a city because it name him after the mushroom. That would be way too easy. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna keep this guy, though. We'll find out, but I do have to name it. I have to name it. Um... Let's see. I'm still looking it up. <laughs> There's a lot of cities. Koga is a city! Oh, that'd be a good name for a like a Zubat or something. Koga. All right, all right, all right. I don't know how you pronounce this actually, but it's spelled date, D-A-T-E. That's an interesting city, as it's date. Toki. I've heard that name before, actually. Actually, I'll name you Toki. Yeah, let's go for it. I'll name you Toki. You know, Shitake, Toki. Oops, wrong word. Wrong. If I remember what controls, no. If I remember what controls, switch the lowercase. But I'll just have to go all the way here. Toki. Let's go with that. All right. Now, real quick, I'm gonna check the Pokedex. We'll find out if we had a fungus or not. Wait, I don't want to do habitat. Can we? Is this way? Yeah. There we go. La, 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 da. I'm not totally sure where it is or if I've even skipped it by now. Probably not. Fungus, 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 fungus. Did I miss it already? Fungus, fungus. I don't think I missed it. Oh, there, there it is. No, we did not catch fungus. All right, so Mungus is our encounter. So that does mean, unfortunately, unless it's actually Route 23, we do not get to catch Trachyon, and let me, before I forget, heal Paralysis on um, Milwaukee. Less Paralyze heal, but we have Castelia Cones, and I think we have full heals too, so yeah, there's full heals there. So we're good, I think. And that one's an item, a PP up. But you know, I know, well, there's one thing I've learned is that Amoongus is a pretty good Pokemon. So, not a disappointing catch, actually. Just disappointing that we could have gotten um, a Terrakion. Unless it's the next route, but I don't think it is. All right, Milwaukee, can you take on this hiker's Pokemon? I think so. Man, this thing is confusing. I don't know. Did you say shut up and battle with me? This was like four years before shut up and dance was a thing. Three years? Three years before shut up and dance was a thing. 
can make a parody of that. Shut up and battle with me. All right, we're gonna horn leech this thing. Okay, good, didn't have sturdy. So we took this thing out. Uh, Steelix. Well, we have, um, jump kick. We could always switch into Aberdeen if things get hairy, so we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna give Milwaukee a chance at this experience. It's only level 49. We were facing level 51 Pokemon earlier, so this should be okay, but Steelix has, yeah, pretty high defense. How much is Crunch gonna do? Alright, that's not too bad. Just have to not miss Jump Kick. Okay, Rock Slide. Well, even though there's only a little bit of HP left, we're gonna Horn Leech and get a little bit of that HP back. There we go. Just that little bit of- because you never know when that little bit will help. Okay, so... I feel like... I feel like Marlin isn't actually here, though. I could be wrong. I feel like Marlin isn't actually over here, but I feel like we've come so far that if I go all the way back and then he's not there, it'll have been a waste of time. So, press on, we will. We can't go past here. No, no, he's not here. We're gonna go ahead and get ourselves another encounter with a fungus or a mungus. I guess they're all a mungus on this route, and they were fungus on the other routes. Or were any of them a mungus on the other routes? I don't remember. No, not Pokemon. We're just gonna run. So yeah, we're gonna avoid the rest of the trainers, I guess. Uh, if I... If I really want to have a training montage, maybe I'll train against them. But I need to find Marlin. So let's find out where he is. Try to make our way back. Wherever we need to be. Do we have strength on anybody? I don't... I actually don't know that we do right now. Mm. No, because you would be the one, probably. Yeah, we don't have strength on anybody right now, which we might need for Victory Rose. I have to keep that in mind. I'm not going to use strength on that boulder right now. Yeah, I might as well repel it up. Because there's also an encounter that we can get in Humilau City, I guess, which we won't worry about. Alright, alright, come on. Now, I guess maybe Marlin is somewhere around here. I don't remember. He's not indoors anywhere, I'm certain. Oh yeah, there's this thing where we you walk the lady's mean foo. It's really weird. She just like yells at you if if you even like make a move toward the door. Don't take your her mean foo from her. All right, we're gonna skip over here. Oh, there is an item over there. Can get down. It's so cumbersome. So can we? Well, we can just walk. I think. I didn't need that other repel. I didn't need that repel. Probably. Although I might, because I get this feeling that we're going to have to surf out and find Marlin. Got a heart scale. That could actually come in handy, because we did use one to have, um... What's his name? Liverpool relearn sur er, surf. Uh, Stealth Rock. Alright, come on, Marlin. Where the heck are you? It said went out swimming somewhere. Oh, I could go out along here, I suppose. I don't know why, I can't- Oh! There's a place to the south of Humalau City, isn't there? I think that's where we have to go. Alright, so this episode, I'm gonna let this episode run a little bit longer than I have been, if necessary, because I kinda been going on a wild goose chase. But I remember now, there's that route below. I'm gonna go- I, I should start putting up repels again, actually. But actually, I want to see... Let's, I'll take a look at what the shop here has to offer. I don't think we're too low on anything, but I wonder... I don't think we've been able to buy full restores yet. I wonder if we can now. I haven't noticed. Let's take a look. I don't remember. No, it's still max potions. Do we have max... Hmm. Hyper potions are still doing fine for us, though. Um, what do I want? I want some of... Whatever you have here. Luxury ball, dive ball, net ball. Net ball could come in handy, so... 
because you never know water types or random bug type. And I think that's it. All that mail. Now, pull. But how many of you actually use mail in the games? Like, I, I kind of bought mail and, like, wrote out stuff on it when, you know, and they first came out in gold and silver, but then I kind of realized they were kind of useless. But do any of you, like, actually use it and you like using it and you, like, you know what it's for and you use it, like, you connect with friends? Okay, this girl... No, you know what? These trainers are here to be trained on, so we're gonna just have the rest of this. Yeah, my Pokémon is huge. Good for you. Okay, she has a Wailord, so she wasn't kidding about her Pokemon is huge. Alright, level 50 Wailord. This would be good practice for the gym, as a matter of fact. Um, what does nature power turn into on the water? Let's try it. Probably, yeah. Okay, and it missed. Alright, well, that was worth experimenting on, I guess. We're gonna go ahead and Horn Leech. So yeah, this episode, I guess I might not actually get to take on Marlin in this episode, because I delayed myself too much. But we'll at least find Marlin, depending on how long it takes. But on the bright side, we're actually getting to do some important training that we have needed to do. So there's that. Alright, we're gonna go... Yeah, we'll fight this girl. Fight all the trainers! What? You're a trainer? Awesome! Come on, my Remoraid! Alright. There's the Remoraid. Right, so something I've been thinking about is that... Think about the audio issues. I've, it's been rel They've been relatively few, but yeah, they, they've still been there. I keep going quiet every once in a while. I'll be editing out any static. So that's why sometimes I'll go quiet in the middle of things. But, um... It's interesting. I'm a little, almost a little afraid to go back to doing the, the webcam, the face cam. Because when I do it that way, I don't have an audio monitor. And I'm getting a little nervous, even though it's, it hasn't, still hasn't happened yet when I've used the face cam. For whatever reason. I'm afraid that that might not be, you know... It might still go wrong, even if I'm using the face cam, and I won't have an audio monitor to let me know, so I'll just like record a whole episode. I guess I'll do some tests with that before I have to do the next webcam. But for now, I'll do this webcam less so I can monitor it. Doing some tests, like I said, probably it's that I need a new computer. Because basically, for the longest time in the lifetime of my computer, I have two USB ports, and one of them for a long time has been basically dead, where it doesn't work. So, I've had to use a USB splitter, a hub, and for the most part that's been fine, but I think that might be contributing to problems such as this one that I'm having right now. Issues getting the audio recorded. Which, uh... What was I saying? Oh, w yeah, well, which... That makes the webcam scenario even more interesting because... Hmm, fighting type. I probably should have switched. But, oh, well, we can switch into, uh, um, Paris. But yeah, it's interesting- Oh, it's just a Crustle. 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 We're still weak to it, though, so we'll switch to, actually, Aberdeen. Alright. Aberdeen. Um, but yeah, it makes it interesting that, um... When I record the face cam, I actually have a webcam plugged in, so I actually have three things splitting the signal instead of just two, and that has so far worked better, so I don't understand. And of course, for a while, it was working when I split it with my, with my um, microphone the way it is, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All I know is that if, my, if, if only my USB thingy, if only my second USB port actually worked. I probably wouldn't have half of these problems. But, again, looking into a new computer. It still might be a while, so I'm gonna have to deal with this aggravation for a little bit. But, we'll see. Also, oh, oh, the other thing, I did make an observation 
that I had my setup plugged in the way it was, and I test, did a test recording of audio only, just just recording audio without without um, capturing without the 3DS capture card recording. And there, I, I recorded for a solid like two minutes, I think, or or maybe even a little more, without getting any static. And then, as soon as I flipped on the recording for the 3DS, I started getting static after between 45 seconds and a minute. So, it probably has something to do with recording those two things at once. Probably has to do with recording that the audio input from the game with the audio input from my uh, speech, but I don't really have a way around that. Because I need to record all of it, but that's okay. We're gonna make the best of it for now. Hopefully new computer means end of problems, but that might not come for several more months, depending on when I figure things out, because I've been busy with stuff, and YouTube is kind of my on-the-side hobby for fun thingy right now. If it becomes something bigger than that, then so be it, that'll be great. But at this point, it's just a, hey, this is kind of fun, and yeah, so, okay, well, let's fight this guy so we can heal. As long as he doesn't kill my Pokemon. Did I lose a Pokemon to a doctor in this playthrough? I don't remember. Dr. Braid. Alomomola. Alright. So common fan speculation was that this thing looks like it was supposed to be an evolution for Love, Love Disc. Do you think it might have been? I heard like a rumor or a theory that it actually was supposed to be. But that they made it not related to... Um, they made it not related to Love Disc because they were trying to have a, a fresh start with Generation 5. Because, you know, in black and white, you only had the Unova Pokedex with no Pokemon from previous generations or even evolutions or tie-ins in any way to the old generations. And that could be a plausible theory. But then why do you need a, a Loma Mola anyway? I guess in that case, you could say it's kind of love disc done better better stats and all that all right is is marlin in this cave because if not i don't remember anything from playing this game all right let's try it not in this cave but like man how far do we have to how many of these mm, which way do i go we'll fight her yeah so uh news flash this is going to be the extent of the episode. I won't be taking on the gym in this episode, which is okay. It gives me a chance to train up some of my other Pokemon. We've actually gotten quite a bit of leveling up for Milwaukee, which I think we're almost done with. And we've got a Heracross, so we're gonna switch out of, out of that. Yeah, we, once we're level 55, we'll start training Soul, which we're almost there. I'm gonna go ahead and go for Milan. I think that would be the wisest choice. Resisted stab. There's Megahorn. It did more than I wanted it to, I will say that, but I guess we could have. And it's faster than us. That is not good, actually. Well, at least we'll miss. It'll miss us this time. Could have gone for Cotton Guard, but you know, then you have to worry about. And it, we miss Fly. Thank you, Milan. Thanks so much. Alright, Moo Moo Milk. We could Cotton Guard, but then it could always get a crit, so... Yeah. Thank you for missing a Megahorn. I mean, it's not 100% accurate. It's at least as inaccurate as Fly. Fly is like 90. And Megahorn is... I don't know, is Megahorn also 90? All I know is it's hit 3 out of 4, and we've missed 1 out of 1 so far. I mean, a, not counting the ones where we dodged because of Fly, of course. But it's okay, Fly is 4 times super effective, so we finally take out that annoying Heracross. Thank you. And Milwaukee is not quite level 55 yet, so probably one more battle. Let's go here. Just get this thing. I know there's another trainer over there. Again, maybe save it for if I do off-screen training. We're doing okay here. All right, come on. Is Marlin, like, on the other end? Oh, there's an item there, though. Actually, I didn't have to fight this guy. I don't even like Pokemon Rangers in this game because I lost, what, I lost two Pokemon to one of these guys that had a Diggersby? 
I think, if I remember correctly. Or, no, I lost, not Diggersby, wrong generation. Rewind, Excadrill, Excadrill. No, I think I, I lost two Pokemon to Clay's Excadrill, but I still did lose a Pokemon to a Pokemon Ranger's Excadrill, and that kind of stunk a lot. Okay, so this should put us over the edge to level 55. Yep, there we go. All right, so from this point out, we're gonna focus on training Soul, but first we have a Lyran, or Laron as I usually call it, which uh, Soul won't do so great against, so we're gonna send out Aberdeen. I also have to remember to switch the experience share, or not the experience share, the lucky egg onto Soul after this battle. Okay, we'll go ahead and surf. Okay. Keep thinking, it's been too long, obviously, since I played this game because I'm really hoping that this is the way to go to get to Marlin but I honestly don't remember. And if I go all this way and he's not anywhere to be found, well, I guess at least I'll have gotten this training. Um, where's the... Yeah, give the big route back to Milwaukee. And then give the lucky egg to Seoul. Okay. And we'll switch here. All right, now time to train Soul. Oh, this guy with his uh, Rog and Rolla. Oh, we have to take on six Rog and Rolla, don't we? I don't really want to fight you unless Marlin's on the other side of this cave. But Black Belt Rocky, yeah, Rocky and his Rog and Rollas. At only level 48, we'll see what we can do. I don't know if Gear Grind will be able to take each of these things out in one go. But it does hit twice, so if it is enough, then it won't trigger Sturdy. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it almost did trigger Sturdy, but in other words, we won't have to use it more than once. But I forget if the Rog and Rolla gain level, like, if each Rog and Rolla is a little more powerful than the last. And actually, he has, I think it was five Rog and Rolla and not six. That's... Oh, four. Okay, so that's not so bad. And it's the same level, so gear grind, we should be able to take care of all these guys as long as we don't miss any. Knock on wood. Yeah, four Rog and Rolla. Almost as annoying as that guy with six Magikarp. Maybe more annoying because you just can't one-shot them. Well, I mean, you could use an attack like this, like, like gear grind or like double kick. Where you hit multiple times and get around it. See, we did trigger sturdy that time, but it's okay, because we get to hit it another time. Okay, we just have one more to go. Rocky and his rog and rolla. Block in the way. I mean, I get- oh yeah, four rog and rolla, that makes sense. He had four in the overworld, I guess. It's almost like a mini boss battle, I guess, because we have to fight him if we want to keep going through that cave. Alright. Strength beyond mere abilities. I guess his whole strategy was having sturdy Pokemon. You still do better if you would evolve them, but that's okay. Oh, no, we only had three in the overworld. I don't know where he was hiding that fourth one. I guess it was still in its Pokeball. Uh, do I want to keep going? Do I keep going, or should I have gone off to the side? Where's the map? No, not, not that. Like, if I keep going, it's not like I'll end up in a different city, so there is an end to this. No, not that. Take out the dowsing machine for now. Um, I feel like there's no way to avoid this trainer, so let's take her on as well. Uh, the best move Pokemon really in an adventure? What? I wasn't reading any of that very closely, so I'm not sure what your point was there. Something about Pokemon using their best move and being an adventure. Oh boy, another Alomomola! Alomomola is another one of those palindrome Pokemon too, like Girafferig. And Eevee. Are there any ones besides- we have Girafferig, Eevee, and Alomomola. Are there other ones? I don't know. Okay, get the boost, so Discharge should take it out from here. See how well we can take a water pulse. 
pretty well. I did check. We have decent special defense on Soul, which is good. Which we're gonna need for um, taking on Marlin's Pokemon. All right. Goodbye, Arissa. Arissa. Sorry, that sounds like Alyssa in English. Ah, I didn't think quick enough to avoid him. Oh well, this is a this is a training episode, guys. Swimmer Matt and his Mantike. Well, we're four times super effective against that. But yeah, lots of training today, which I did say that I probably wanted to train my Pokemon, and so look at what I'm getting out of it. So this is good. This is pretty good, actually. So. And we don't have to worry about um, getting over what would have been the level limit against the, the gym trainers. If we ever find Marlin. Okay, we've got dive spots here. Where the heck is Marlin? I feel like we should not have to be this inconvenienced to find the bloomin' gym leader. I feel like I went the wrong way some at some point. Like, maybe I should have taken that side path. But we're just gonna try to avoid trainers from here on out. Mainly because I don't want to keep losing my train of thought wh as far as where I'm going. Splash plate. Goody, goody, good. Okay. Gonna avoid that girl. Oh, there's Undella Town. Oh, okay, this is Undella Town. So we did go too far. So, before I fly all the way back to Humalau City, I'm gonna go up a little bit to where I just was. Where, back to the cave, and see if there was a side path I could have taken. I saw it as a side exit from Seaside Cave, so let's see if there's a way to get there. I don't... Mm. One is not apparent at this time, unless I go that way. No, we have to get it there from somewhere else. Can we get there from the- Can we get there from up here? Aha, I noticed also when I- When I happened to accidentally push against the little wire that's getting the game audio, static seems to happen. Anyway, um... I don't think we fought this guy yet, actually. We might have to, though, to find out if there's anything we missed over here. Or not. No, I think we- no, we did fight that guy. Okay, so I'm at a loss. And I'm gonna have to resort to watching walkthrough because- uh, or looking it up. Because I can't remember where Marlin is! He's- what? What? he's not gonna be that far, is he? He's gonna be, like, somewhere. He went off swimming, that's what you said, right? I forget where he is! I'm terrible at this game, guys. And then, uh, swimming off into the ocean, yelling about the sea. Uh, it sounds like Little Karibo's depiction of Mako Tsunami, that he's married to the ocean. The ocean says yes. Um, unless I have to go that way. Alright, this, this... What? Really? <laughs> Those of you who knew this... That I just had to be, like, two tiles over to the right when I walked up this way. You must think... I don't even know. I don't even know. But... Two tiles over to the right! Uh, oh well, anyway. Alright, alright, alright. Sup, you must be here to challenge the Pokémon Gym! I'm the gym leader, Marlin. Sorry to make you look for me, yo. Yeah, you have no idea. I was swimming with the Pokemon, and it felt real good, so I kept going and going. I'll be waiting in the gym, kay? Kay? Yeah. Alright, so, um, how- what's the time on our recording here? Yeah, we're- we're- I don't know when the- what time on the clock this episode started, but we're closing in on 40 minutes, so I am going to- are we fully healed? I think- yeah, I think we are. So I might do a little bit more training off- off screen, or whatever. Probably- probably get, um, soul at least one more level. But other than that, 
I guess in the next episode we'll finally take on the gym. So yeah, I just had to be one, two squares to the right. Two squares to the right, that was it. Uh, anyway. Well, I, at least I got some training done, right? We, we could say that. So yeah, anyway, this is a bit of a wild goose chase or a wild marlin chase or whatever, but I hope you guys enjoyed. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Also subscribe if you want to stay up to date on my videos and don't forget to leave a comment with, you know, say anything you want. You like the episode, you didn't like the episode, advice or other random things. You just want to tell me what your favorite Pokemon is, like on my team or whatever. Anyway, also, if you like to follow me on social media, like my page on Facebook, or follow me on Twitter, the links are in the description. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my Pokemon White 2 Unlock.